All right, mud lovers, how you doing? Today we are mudlarking on this drained river. I'm with Chris from Addicted to Bleeps, you may recognise him. I'm really excited. <laughs> and this is my mate Stu, who's also an excellent mudlarker. So we're going to explore this creek, get it to Texas out, see what we can find, eyes only, and hopefully get some luck in the mud. What's that? seen down there a big old lump of iron. I think it's iron. I'm yet to see what it is for sure. I'm not sure if I can actually walk out of there but something's got some decoration on. It's like fleur de lis. I will try my best to see if I can get a close up of that even if I can't take it. Interesting. Although does it like a very muddy creek. Yeah. So here we are, down in the creek. Waiting for Chris. Not too bad, is it? Famous last words. Do you find that your, uh, these get a bit grabby? <laughs> They get, they get sweaty, I know that. I mean, they're a bit, sorry, a bit grabby. <laughs> they're just mind boxing, haven't you? Oh, look at that. Sorry. Treasure. That's a yell Jumping goblet. goblet. Yell goblet, blimey, I'm sinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, How cool is that? Well, I made it down. I need to find that. It is, in fact, plastic plant pot. That looks so intriguing, didn't it, from uh, up above, still. I'll throw that in a bag and take it away with me, I think. A little coin just sitting there. Looks nice and green and patinaed. But it's just a 2p. Well, that means I'm beating Chris by a whole penny. So there we go. Let the games continue. Oh, Chris has spotted something already. Oh. It's a milk bottle. No, it's orange, not, orange is it? Juice bottle. See, if I was on a field, I would. That's true. Well, look, you know, it's, it's got a screw top, so you know it's not particularly old. Oh, but, it's the um, old um, faint, little fainter orange bottle, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Chris has never been mudlarking before, really. He's done a little bit of river searching and stuff I've seen, but. This is the first time we've been out together and I know that we're going to hopefully find some interesting stuff. If not, we'll at least we'll have a laugh. Yeah, right. And uh, watch Chris get stuck in the mud. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get stuck in the mud, aren't I? <laughs> only. Heel off a Victorian boot. There's something else there. Oh, it's a fishing weight. I will pick these bits of lead up so they don't end up polluting the water. Well, found what I think is a little vulcanite stopper on a broken bottle, but come and have a look. So it was ooh, just here. There we go. So beer bottle. Actually, it's a clear one. Might be an old tizer. Yeah, even so, first little find that we can keep. We'll take that and throw that away in the bin. Um, yeah, little vulcanite stopper. Always, uh, always nice to find them. Yeah, old sign here. It's hard to really say what's on it without sitting there scrubbing it. All I can see is local bailey. <laughs> Private something, private mooring probably. So just clean this up, quite an old looking sign. Central Association of London and Provincial Angling Clubs, private fishing. Date and season tickets issued. I know you can all read, but I thought I'd read it for you anyway. 
cow pack. Not sure what that stands for, but I'm sure I'll find out. And it's even got the names of the guys that were in charge. What's that, Shay? That's an abbreviation. Oh, look at you. Of course it is. Nice one. Well, unfortunately, it's all tied onto this pole and it's bolted on. Otherwise, I might have considered taking that. But uh, it's got a nice little sign anyway. Right, I'm going to test Chris. He's only been uh, mudlarking for literally five minutes, but I found... Well, human bone? No. What is that though? That is human though, isn't it? Well, look, we're right next to a pub, and there's I found a few rib bones and stuff, so... That lily thing. What are you pointing at? That. Correct. Yeah, that's part of the top of a Victorian bottle. Ooh, shall I dig it out? Definitely. Definitely. I think that's the stopper, isn't it? Oh, it's not quite as old as we thought, but... No. What's the... It's, it's an old-fashioned one, though. Oh, it's got a name on it. It does, man. It does, and it is. Oh, that's a nice one. London Br Bristol BOP Bop. Nice, lovely design. Bristol and London Bop. Yeah, pack a little find. Nice, well done. You can keep that if you want. I'll remove the rings. Hey. But I think it's costume jewelry. Oh, it's a 22 mil Ollie. <laughs> oh, look at that pretty little cup. Do, 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 do. Waders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> more like, more like Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> Keep moving. This is different. Keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You come bearing rings. I have treasure, sir. Oh, nice. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what that is? That's a bank, an old sovereign. No, yeah, that's got, a, that's got a coin in it. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. That's, no. a, that's a Elizabeth II. Farthing. No way! That's a, that's a bit of... Someone's made that because they love the Queen so much. No, are you kidding me? Yeah, I've got no? a little squirt here. Oh, you this. know what it is? You know what it is? It's a thruppany bit. It's a frappy bit. Oh yeah, the, the hexagonal. I think it's a frappy yeah, bit. Sorry, I got me. Oh my god, so it is old. Well, well, it's about it, 1940s, it, 1950s. Yeah, that's a really unusual find. I mean, that's not that's not modern, is it? Over there. Yeah, well, it's uh, ironically more tricky to see. Bloody hell, mate! How are you doing this? I know, just beginners. How are you doing? Beginners' it? luck, man. <laughs> I see it now. Yeah. That's a pucker find. That's that a nice a pucker find. That's man. almost like uh, trench art, but obviously it's a bit later than trench you art. Think but so? but they, that would have been that's definitely a handmade little. That might even be a silver band around it. If you, you can see a little. So bit it was of, like that. So I thought it was a coin. Yeah, well, look, so got that little, bit was underneath the. You've got uh, silver around it. it. Looks like silver, perhaps. It does doesn't it? That'll clean up lovely. You'll get the uh, that. That probably really popped. You've got a nice dude, brass, dude. nice brass ring around a real silver surround. How cool is that? That is very cool. I think that that is up there one of my favourite. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. That is just awesome. Awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. That is so cool. Beautiful. What well I mate. Yeah. No hallmark. Well, no, because it's been made by you know probably a Joe Vlogs. A kind of wannabe jeweller or just someone who's good at crafting things. Yeah, man. Must be history, really. Awesome. Must be history. That. Now we will be taking a bit of rubbish with us today, especially things like this where it's so easy for an animal to get caught and I think there's like some fishing tackle as well so we'll take all this but I've got a little bag inside my bag so I can take some, uh, some of this junk so that it's not going to harm any wildlife Well, just coming out of this bank here, I just had a little walk down and found this, which is quite interesting. It looks to me like it's, uh, I don't know, I thought it was like one of those arms that you drive a boat with, but I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it's a pump. 
bilge pump, some sort of pump. Big old heavy lump of iron though, but it's got some words around the edges, but that's like a number, number three or number two or whatever. And that says, looks like it says, I don't know what it says. Drink the stew. I reckon that's a, like a manual, a manual pump. I reckon it could be a, a diesel pump, something like that. Manual diesel pump. Oh, well, no, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, two miles. We we'll to take that and clean it up. Um, it weighs a lot, so maybe I'll come back for it later. Well, just had a little scrape and little close fastener. We find these on the Thames quite a lot. Look used for Clark fastening uh, various cloaks and clothes and corsets and everything else, various uses, but yeah, nice little find. Well, we're right next to a pub, so you can imagine there's going to be lots of things like this. Fork off! Old oh, fork. This is probably not even that old. Have a knife. So I was just scraping around here and this little beauty came up. It's like a little lamp pin. Complete. Give it a little wash and see if we can get some detail out of it. That's cool, isn't it? Nice. Oh, and that's sweet. Oh, it's got some little uh, enamel in as well. How cool is that? I'm not sure where that would have been from. Hat pin maybe. Cute. Got me finding a day, Chris. What we got? We got. What do you make of that? Oh. That is cool, isn't it? Little pin of little. Uh... Is it just little lapel pins? You think a little lapel it could pin? Could be, yeah, little goatee. Supporter of the goats. Yeah, ma'am. I don't trust that goat. <laughs> it looks devious to me. Kind of looks like Princess Leia, though. <laughs> yeah, nice little uh, headwear. So I like it a little bit more now. <laughs> That's the Sussex. One P. We're in the money. <laughs> Think I found a coin? Oh, two P. Tuppence. Wow! I was just I was just lying over there. You joking? Yeah, I just, just yeah. I, I thought you better have a look at it because you're the expert. Yeah, it's a torpedo bottle. Perfect really. condition as well. And it's got lettering on it. It has. Yeah, do you have a look? Oh wow! Yeah, I'm terrified of dropping it. Is that a good one? That's beautiful. That's a really cool find. Oh wow! Yeah, this is this is like what mudlark has dreamed to find. Really? Yeah, this is a top top find. It's Victorian. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we just uh, yeah filming for YouTube, getting our treasure hunting. Fix, see what we can find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, just over there down the corner. Oh, on the corner. Yeah, it's just my ex, my friend's the expert on mud marking. And, uh, we don't get a lot of them. Um, we don't get a lot of people doing it. What's the age on that? 1880, 18, 18, 1860 that's even. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. So the thing about these bottles, right, it's called a torpedo bottle because it looks like a torpedo. Also a Hamilton bottle, because Hamilton was the guy that invented it. But, but because, you see, you can't rest it upright because the bottom is gonna, you know, it'll always lean over. That's because the corks tended to dry out beforehand and the corks would make it go flat. Or if it's pressurized water, it would make it, it would render it useless. So he invented this torpedo bottle. There you go, take that back. Thank you. So that um, it would always rest on its side, keeping the cork wet and uh, preserving the, the interior. And that has got, once you clean that up, we'll find out who that maker is. It'd probably be a local maker. But that, that is a, that, that would be like, yeah, a, a, a find that any mudlarker would be doing cartwheels over. It. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, he didn't even know what you found, but he's it like... It says Maidstone on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it says Maidstone. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so look, it's got so much information on there. We can see that it's got um, Argyle and Son, or Argyle's Son, and Stoneham, Bank Street, Maidstone. And this is a genuine aerated waters. And it's amazing and I love it. Morning! <laughs> Good 
What you got, Stu? Ship's half penny, 1964. Coinage, yeah. A 2p, no, no, like, and that looks like an old 10p. It is, yes. Like this. That's a nice buckle. Probably a little military buckle. 20th century. Old roof tile. A nice, uh, oldy looking fork. I haven't seen one like that before. Let's see if there's any maker's mark on the back. Don't think it's silver, but still, nice little, uh, maybe a pewter. Cool design. That's a keeper. What you got, Stu? Open fire, fire grill, right? So you have. And I think that is outside the old Victorian house. It's a shoe scraper, but it looks like the bits oh, yeah. to scrape your shoes off that sit up here have, mm. have broken off. And that would have been that's really cool. That would have been cemented into the into the outside of the house, yeah. like on the on the ground. Whoa. It's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That would have really well if you had the energy to uh, take it back, but it's a bit of a lump, isn't it? That's a nice buckle. Yeah, wartime. Another buckle, I think I found three buckles today. Have we discovered the scene of a crime? For some reason, these all cut. It's like they've been cut. Yeah, all well, loads of shotgun cases. I don't know if they've been cut or not. I'm not really, uh, They've been cut in the uh, yeah, they would be longer, wouldn't they? With a little brass top on, yeah. I don't know what this is all about. Been taken out of well, I think the gunpowder would be inside that bit, yeah. They just cut, cut the caps, cut, cut the caps off. Cap. Strange, why would they do that, guys? Anybody know why they these would be cut off like that? Is it to stop identifying them, or I don't know? Strange, if you know, comment below. Well, these chaps are walking back and they stepped over that hoping it's a button after i've called them over <laughs> uh yeah look button it's like a livery button you can see the little rope thing beneath it a little quick swill and a little rub yeah nice oh what's that got it's like a griffin or something or clean it up later stick around for the cleanup and i'll get this nice and clean for you Nice livery button there, probably like Victorian. Lovely. I could go. Oh. I could go home happy now. What you got, man? I've got a laser gun. <laughs> Look at that. That. <laughs> That's a beauty. That is a beauty. That's retro. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I could do that up. It's like post apocalyptic. Oh, I love the little bit on the top. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you do, you do any gaming? Yeah. It reminds me of Fallout Four. I oh, don't play that. I play COD. <laughs> Water pistol. It's not a water pistol, man. It's a gun. <laughs> Quite obviously. Yeah, it's a laser gun. That is cool. Okay. What a beaut. Best find ever. <laughs>that adventurer he said he weren't gonna go and now he's changed his mind so but in between the rocks it does go down really deep watch find the bottle that's gonna hit you <laughs> the bottle's gonna hit you oh he's up to his uh precious knit precious oh. bits <laughs> yeah no go on you're halfway there that's probably the deepest bit now get the no, res I'm still on rocks I'm get the residents having a go up here in a minute <laughs> <That's my lad. laughs> the residents is my bag touching? No, nope, you've got about six inches from your bag. Right. It's up to the gentleman area. So if it goes above your belly button, you'll get a wet sack. Back sack, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> well, just pulled out what I thought was a bit of junk. Turns out to be the front end, the front end of an old little toy car. Complete with a little front grille. Who knows what model that is, anyone? Stu's found this lovely little pewter, I think, cast ballerina. 
with a really strange skirt with holes in it. Maybe it was used on a piece of uh, ornamental furniture, or maybe one of those little um, musical boxes or something. Eh? Still got some. Um, that's got some enamel in maybe in it as well. Legs on that. Almost as nice as yours, Stu. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well done. Hers are more hairy. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Chris is saying he's getting too weighed down by all his bottles to be fine, but that looks to me like it could be, uh, or maybe not Victorian, but not too later than that. That's a little beer bottle. Does that say brewery or something? Fremlins. And What's I do that? believe that was a brewery, if I remember right. It was right. Fremlins, was it? Yeah, like Shepherd Neiman, Fremlins, etc. And, and there's the spike things that that boot scraper sits on. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's, nice. it's pristine, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Green bottle. It'd be nice if there was a sort of big emblem on the front, rather yeah. than just the name. But Fremlins. Maybe I could just scratch one in there. A little smiley face. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> there you want? Yeah. Old pillbox. Just on the river. Looking out, making sure that the uh, the Germans don't come up without a fight. Home guard, perhaps. Well, got the detector out because we've got this lovely little spit of foreshore that's been uh, exposed at this time with my new spade. Highly recommend that. I'll tell you a bit more about that later. We can buy one, see what we can find. Feeling it's either a compass or a little makeup y thing. Well, it's made of brass. I'm not sure if I can open it. I'll see if I can open it and get back to you. That's really cool. Fucking like tree. Or maybe a little Greek pillar. That's out of back. Oh, Pompeian Bloom medium. So it's obviously a compact for some. Uh, Makeup, <laughs> I think. Cool. Well, there we go, mud lovers. What a fantastic day! It's exceeded my expectations and, yeah. and Chris's as well. And uh, well, Stu's going to come back and try again, probably on his own. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some amazing finds. I'll do a quick clean up now, show you what we found, do a bit of research, and hopefully see you soon on the next mud adventure. See you later, guys. This is a livery button and would have been attached to a livery uniform as seen here and were commissioned and paid for by the head of the household. These uniforms were used by the servants of wealthy families and landowners and were displayed during hunts, formal duties and special occasions. They came in many different styles conforming to the family traditions and the whims of the head of the family. So it occurred to me that after I cleaned this beautiful livery button, it would have in fact started life having a gilt, a gold gilt on it. So I am going to experiment now with some gold leaf that I bought and see if I can recover this beautiful button gold again, because it looks good, but obviously it's patchy and it um, doesn't appear great. So I thought, well, let's see if I can cover it and reform it back to its previous beautiful original condition but I'm also going to experiment first on this 1937 penny this isn't particularly rare in fact it's not worth very much so if I mess it up it doesn't matter plus it's only 
um, a soft glue, so it won't do any permanent damage and everything I, I believe will be reversible. And I thought, well, if that's successful, I'm gonna have a go at uh, gilding this beautiful little compact as well, and maybe even a little lamb brooch, because that would have originally been gilt as well. So I thought all these finds in the river have given me a great opportunity to get going and create some gilding. So what I have to do is apply some of this glue, first of all, onto the object, let that set. And then once that's tacky, I can then apply the gold leaf. And I have to make sure there's no drafts in the room, otherwise this will just fly off. It's so thin. So yeah, it should be good fun and I can't wait to see the results. So this is pretty cool. In the, in the pack I get, um, they supply you with a gilder's tip and you stroke it on the back of your hand, I think, to create some sort of static and that lifts up the gold. So that it works something like this. And it attracts to it and then you can lay it over what you want. Neat, eh? quite fun anyway just to see actually it's come up really well you just keep applying this brush to it and we'll get there now um, I believe these kits are available on Amazon so I'll put a link to the one that I got in the description below I do get a few pennies if you were to use that link I'll just be honest with you there but it's good fun Maybe I should put this on the Thames and let Matt or someone find it and think they found a gold coin, or is that just too cruel? Cool, all right, so let's leave that to just dry a bit and I'll do the next one, which is a livery button. This is one I'm looking forward to. Might have to pick this one up from behind. This lapel pin stick badge comes from Young's Brewery. It was worn on a jacket by a representative of the company that began in 1831. They were originally called the Ram Brewery until Charles Allen Young and his partner, Anthony Forthorgill Bainbridge, what a name, took it over. In the 1890s, the Dorset Horn Ram was registered as their emblem. So we can assume it came from this period and this was the promotional item to push their new brand. So as I mentioned earlier, I want to tell you a little bit about this spade. Um, I just think it's really cool. Comes in a little carry case like that. And I'll show you a few of these little implements that it comes with. Now you can get this on Amazon. I'm not getting paid 
uh, for this promotion but if you do use the link below and you fancy getting one um, I do get a few pennies for each sale so I'd just be up front with you there but I just thought I'd recommend it because I took a chance on it bought it myself and it's actually a really usable usable little tool for digging and also keeping in the car it's quite compact as you can tell so anyway this uh, this folds out like that and that screws up all pretty quickly um, what I would suggest is actually using some grease on these joints just because they do get a little bit stiff but from that straight away you've got a perfectly usable diggable tool so if you were stuck in the snow or maybe your tires got stuck in the mud you could just use this in your car and get out or like me if you go out digging it's a great quick tool to to set up so what else have we got so that's the main handle and we've got these three little additions to it and as you can tell this one there I it stumped me actually I didn't know what it was when I when I got it but it turns out you can use this to break glass so if you're ever stuck somewhere <laughs> with the, you know maybe inside of a car that's quite a cool idea keep it in the glove compartment or whatever um, and then you can use this to, to bust your way out also you've got a little screwdriver a little Phillips screwdriver and you turn it around and you've got a flathead screwdriver so that comes in quite handy and that just goes in there like that and works as a screwdriver also this is what we use to open that little um, compact um, is a quite useful little knife that screws in like that and then you've got a knife it's not sharp really uh, but it's good for just getting into things and um, obviously that is good for cutting roots as well if you're ever detecting in a foresty area so good little tool really um, so the way it all goes together it's quite simple it all just screws in so you just leave that in there screw that into there like that Badunk. and then you add the next one that's the end bit look because it's got a round edge so we know that's the end this one goes in there and the fact I think you can do it in whatever order you want that screws into there and finally this screws in to the end so within a few you know 30 seconds you've got yourself a very long well probably over a yeah, 60 centimeter spade there and it's pretty strong so yeah i'd recommend getting this links are in the description below all i would say is add some grease to these joints um and it's a goer now you won't get exactly the same color as this i think they've changed the design slightly probably made it even better somehow uh, it comes in like a gray color um so yeah check it out don't forget to grease those joints should say as well look if you want to you can even put it on your belt <laughs> so very good and uh it gets the nelson approval isn't it nelly hey certified by nelly nelson would you believe it he's just been fed and he's still asking for more Oh, one thing that Nelson has just reminded me, uh, it does come with a little ruler on the side, not sure what that will be for, but I don't know, maybe you could photograph your finds next to it and give yourself a little scale. Also, there's a little harsh edge there, again for cutting roots, and the best thing of all, it's got a bottle opener, and a strange spanner, and a strange nut opener. <laughs> I think it might just be more for effect that one, but yeah, that's, um, that'll get your beer, beer open, very important that one. Thank you.